let's talk about raw dairy. In 2009 through 2011, the CDC actually looked through all the listeria cases when it came to dairy, and all but one came from pasteurized milk or pasteurized dairy, not raw milk. This is so disappointing. This is a registered dietitian that a couple weeks ago made a video talking about how they were drinking raw milk during pregnancy and saying that it was safe. And there were a bunch of very qualified doctors, dietitians, other science communicators on here, stitching her video and addressing the raw milk, explaining why pasteurized milk is safer. Now she is doubling down and she is misrepresenting the data regarding raw milk versus pasteurized milk. The whole argument she is presenting here is that you need to weigh your risks and benefits of these things. But if you're not communicating the risk accurately, you're not allowing people to actually even do that because you're misrepresenting the data here. So either you're doing that on purpose or you don't understand it. Either way, uh, that's very, very concerning when you are a registered dietitian. So obviously you can't just simply compare unpasteurized milk to pasteurized milk and the number of cases that result in some sort of foodborne illness because pasteurized milk is consumed at a much higher rate than unpasteurized milk. So if there are fewer cases of foodborne illness from raw dairy or unpasteurized milk, that doesn't necessarily mean it's safer because less people are consuming that in the first place. So just talking about number of cases and not taking into account the percentage of one consumed versus the other, you're not actually understanding and communicating the actual risk there. So this is that report from the CDC for Listeria cases between 2009 and 2011, and they actually even state in this report that over time, many outbreaks have been linked to soft cheese made with unpasteurized milk. And FDA and Health Canada estimate that the risk for listeriosis from soft ripened cheeses is 50 to 160 times higher per serving when the cheese is made with unpasteurized milk rather than pasteurized milk. So again, she has completely misrepresented the data in this report in order to double down and justify the information that she was putting out in that first video. It's also not to mention that there are many other bacteria that can be present in raw milk, not just listeria. And yes, of course there can be outbreaks from pasteurized milk as well because it can get contaminated after pasteurization. But once again, the risk is lower with pasteurized milk than with raw milk. It is extremely important to understand the actual risk especially when you're talking about individuals during pregnancy. So the fact that you're misrepresenting this and specifically talking to pregnant individuals and as an RD is extremely disappointing and extremely concerning. Once again, in this same report, persons at higher risk should follow the guidance for the general population not to consume unpasteurized milk or dairy products made from unpasteurized milk. The fact of the matter is that raw milk carries more risk than pasteurized milk, and there is no nutritional benefit to drinking raw milk. So the argument here to weigh out your risk versus your benefit, especially as a pregnant individual where your risk is even higher, there is no argument there to consume raw milk. It is less safe and it does not provide any nutritional benefit. Every time I post about raw milk, I see people misrepresenting the data like this, and it is so much more concerning and so much more harmful coming from somebody who is a registered dietitian, where people will listen to their information potentially more than just some random influencer. From 1993 to 2012, 127 outbreaks reported to the CDC were linked to raw milk. It should also be noted that for every outbreak and every illness reported, many others occur. Some raw milk proponents may argue that 127 outbreaks over 19 years isn't a lot, but the thing you need to remember is that pasteurization can greatly reduce the risk. Although this number may seem low, no more than 1% of the milk consumed in the US is raw, yet more outbreaks were linked to raw milk than pasteurized milk. According to the CDC, the risk of outbreaks linked to raw milk is at least 150 times greater than the risk of outbreaks linked to pasteurized milk. So again, taking data from two years, on just listeria and not accounting for the percentage of raw milk consumed to the percentage of pasteurized milk, you are completely misrepresenting this data and you are completely misrepresenting the risk. Not to mention that on top of the increased risk, outbreaks linked to raw milk tend to cause more severe disease. The hospitalization rate for patients in outbreaks linked to raw milk was 13 times higher than the rate for people in outbreaks linked to pasteurized milk. This is partly due to the fact that the outbreaks due to raw milk were all caused by bacterial infections. 
which are typically more severe than the mild viral infections that were common causes of the outbreaks linked to pasteurized milk. In addition to the very clear risks regarding raw milk versus pasteurized, there are many misconceptions when it comes to benefits of raw milk. It really is a pretty simple risk analysis. Pasteurized milk provides the same nutritional benefits as raw milk, but comes with significantly less risk of foodborne illness. Pasteurization is one of the most effective food safety interventions ever. Please understand the actual risks and the non-existent benefits, especially pregnant individuals and people in high-risk groups. There are unfortunately a lot of people misrepresenting the data, even people that you think that you should trust like a registered dietitian.